Hey everybody. Hi. So again, Sunday, Sunday tea time. Sunny Sunday. Yeah, some sunny yeah, today. It's been lovely. Warm. Yeah, I bet you've been out playing somewhere, have you? I hope you've had a lovely, Talk lovely to. day. Yeah, absolutely. And so it's story time again. Mm. So if you're nice and snuggly and ready, we're going to begin with another story. What's it called today, Nala? From the Winnie the Pooh book, and it's called Scavenger Hunt. Oh. So if you're sitting comfortably, then we'll begin. Nana start today? If you say so. Okie dokie, here we go. Christopher Robin was sitting on a tree stump in the Hundred Acre Wood. It was a beautiful late summer afternoon and he was waiting to say hello to his friends. Hello, Christopher Robin, Pooh said as he and the others arrived. What should we do this very fine day? Why don't you all go on a scavenger hunt? Christopher Robin suggested. What's a scavenger hunt, Nana? Um, it's where you hunt for scavengers. <laughs> anyway, Tiggers loves scavenger hunts, Tigger yelled. Then he paused. What is a scavenger hunt exactly? <laughs> he asked, scratching his head in confusion. He looked at Pooh, Piglet, Roo and Eeyore, but they all shook their heads too. So they're all like Nana. Yeah, don't worry. They no idea, but someone's going to tell them. A scavenger hunt is a game looking for things. Yeah, I know. Christopher that. Robin explained to his friends. What kind of things? Rabbit asked. Christopher Robin thought for a moment. Oh, let me think. Why don't you look for a small jar of honey, a purple flower and a red leaf? Then he smiled and added, I also want you to find the greatest thing in the whole world. Oh, well. And what that is? What's the greatest thing in the whole world? Ooh. Who knows? Not Nana. Pooh was confused. Isn't honey the greatest thing in the whole world, he asked. Honey is pretty sweet, Christopher Robin said, but there is something even greater. Something even greater than honey, Pooh said. We must find it. The friends went to Pooh's house first to find a small jar of honey. His smallest jar was high up on a shelf. Pooh pointed it out to his friends. It was the perfect size for carrying on a scavenger hunt. Pooh looked around. But how will we get it down? He wondered aloud. Climb up on my shoulders, Tigger suggested. Pooh did as Tigger suggested. He could reach the middle shelf and a big jar of honey, but not the smaller one. Oh, you see look. him on his shoulders there? Yeah. Ooh, he looks a bit wibbly wobbly. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, what's that? Rabbit, can you help too, Pooh asked. Of course, Rabbit replied. Rabbit climbed on top of Pooh and stretched out his arm. I can't quite reach it either, Rabbit said. Shall I carry on with this? Yeah. I'll do better. Oh, no, I'll show you in the end. Rabbit looked at Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> Rabbit looked down at the smallest member of their group. Roo, could you hop up here, please? Sure, Roo said. He bounced up onto Rabbit's back and managed to grab the small jar of funny. He dropped it down to Kanga, who caught it gently in her bag. We found our first scavenger hunt item, Kanga said. Oh, look, can you see? There's Rabbit getting a little bit, ooh, can't reach. And there we are, dropping it down into Kanga's bag. Hey. Good job, Kanga's good at catching. Yeah. Now we need a leaf and a flower, Pooh said, as ooh. they walked out of his house to start searching for the next item. Does anyone remember which should be red and which should be purple? No one could quite recall. Well, here's a red flower, Pooh said, bending down and picked a flower growing near his front door. And it smells nice. Then that's perfect, Kanga said. And everybody agreed. You see the red flower he's picked? <laughs> Matches his top. Mm. Okay, one page eight. Yeah. Roo looked around the base of the tree near Pooh's house. Kneeling down, he grabbed a big yellow leaf. I found a leaf, but it's not purple, he said excitedly, showing the others. I think I'll have some purple paint at my house, Rabbit said. We can paint the leaf purple. Will it still count for our scavenger hunt? I think so, Pooh said. 
Together, they all headed to Rabbit's house. After pulling a half-filled can of paint from his closet, Rabbit delicately started painting the leaf. Everyone took a turn in painting it, and in no time the leaf was perfect, great colour shade of purple. After giving it a little time to dry, Kanga placed the leaf in her bag next to the small pot of honey and the red flower. Well. You see there, it's a normal leaf colour, and there they've painted it purple. Well, what do you think will happen, Nana, if it gets wet in the rain? Do you think the paint will come off? I think it might be. Yeah, so we'll have to see what happens, won't we? We want the paint coming off, do we? Now, all we need to do is find the greatest thing in the whole world, Piglet said. Where do you think we'll find it, Ruas? Maybe it's hiding somewhere in the woods, Tigger suggested. Let's search the hundred acre wood, Pooh said. Together, we might be able to find it. What do you think? We'll see. They headed back into the woods. Greatest thing in the world, where are you? Pooh called. Tigger searched under the rocks. Rabbit checked the trees. Eeyore looked out in the clearings. And the Owl checked the treetops. And Roo and Kanga looked near the streams. But the greatest thing in the world was nowhere to be found. Oh. You see them all looking and shouting. Have you the chicken nugget shouting yeah. then. Have you any idea yet what the greatest thing in the world is? It's not you, Nana. The friends searched and searched the hundred acre wood. No. They couldn't find the greatest thing in the world anywhere. Soon it grew quite late and dark. The friends decided to find Christopher Robin to show him how they had, how they had done on the scavenger hunt. They all held hands so no one get lost in the dark. I'm beginning to work this one out, I think. So now is at the end of the story. No. Finally, after what seemed like forever, they found Christopher Robin sitting in the same tree stump waiting for them. They had made it all the way back to where they had started. Oh, it's Have you finished the scavenger hunt? Christopher Robin asked. No, Pooh said sadly. But we all looked together and we found almost everything, Tigger added. Yeah, I know what's coming next, I think. I might be wrong. Whoa. Christopher Robin smiled. Friends working together is the greatest thing in the whole world, he explained. So you did find it after all. The friends all hugged, glad they had spent a fantastic day completing the scavenger hunt together. Oh, they did. Yeah, I see, they're all, all oh, friends together. Friends having a cuddle together. Yay. So there you are, it wasn't none after all. You know, it is hard. <laughs> Anyway, I enjoyed that, Grandad. I do like the Winnie the Pooh books. Yes, that was so, good. Yeah. Very well, good. Well, I hope you have a good sleep. Yeah, absolutely. Ready for another day tomorrow. I think the weather's going to be lovely again. Yeah, I think we're going to get some really hot weather this week. Yeah. So, not to get in your like paddling so. pools and things like yeah. that if you've got them. Yeah. yeah. So, have a lovely, lovely sleep. Yeah. And you can think about stuff that you could find on a scavenger hunt. All oh, right. Couldn't you? But you can't find the greatest thing in the whole world because it's already been found. Nana. It's not Nana. It's friends <laughs> working together. Oh, Nana, Nana, Nana. Silly Nana. Silly Nana. Anyway, anyway. night, night, oh. everybody. Night, so. night. Nana shouting again. <laughs> Night, 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 everybody. Night, night, Atty. Night, 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 night Torby. Night, 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 Ruby. Ruby. Night, 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 Max. Max. Sleep well. We love, love you, you love you, love you so much, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Night, night. Mm -hmm. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.